guys and welcome to another shave, another Tuesday shave. Excited about this one, a subscriber shave. If you remember on my last video, um, I asked you guys if you wanted to see me use any products or do a certain shave, let me know. And a few of you did, so thank you very much guys. I picked two. The first one I picked was Dave Darts. Hey Dave, how are you doing mate? I hope you're enjoying that soap. The Eclipse. Right, what are we using? Uh, he wants me to use the brush. Let's go with the brush. He wants me to use the brush that he named. The Honey Dripper. And that's how he won the soap. I had a little competition to uh, name the brush. So this is the Honey Dripper. And it's the DS Cosmetic 24ml Tuxedo Not Synthetic. And I'm going to soak that in and used it for a while. Soap he wants me to use is, I hope you can see this because I'm using the natural light and it's not being very kind to me at the moment. And it's tobacco. I hope you can see that guys. It's a hard soap and I've had it blooming for those of you who don't know but are new to this way of shaving. When you're blooming a soap you put some hot or warm water on top of a hard soap, leave it for about 10 minutes and it'll soften the soap, soap up, ready for you to lather, basically. And it comes in a nice milk glass bowl. So I've had it blooming, so I'm gonna empty that out. And I don't know if you can see. Can you see that? You can't see in this light. Thanks, son. Thanks, son. Right, so that's what we're using, tobacco. Now you either love it or hate it. And I love it. It's a masculine tobacco scent. Right. And he also asked me to use um, my favourite vintage razor. And it's this one. This is the 1908 model 102 open comb and it's beautiful and this was an extremely kind gift of a friend and subscriber jerry jerry still how you doing jerry oh you and ruth are okay mate thank you so much i love this razor how many of you thought it was going to be the uh, the fat boy or the slim adjustable no it's this one it's beautiful and technically it's a three piece so comes out the head plate or head cap comes off so there's your three pieces inside there today because I, I asked him what blade you want me to use I said to think about the blade use whatever you feel I'm going to try a new blade I haven't tried before oh knocking things over I'm gonna go with the Gillette Super Thin Platinum. That's what we're using. I've not used these before. So we've got one here. That's what it looks like in the tuck. Oh, double wrap. I like double wrap blades. Who doesn't? And I remembered at the very last minute on this, I'm gonna use a pre-shave. Because the tobacco, it creates a fantastic cushion. It's a great soap, solid soap for shaving and lathering. There we go, guys. See that? But there's not a fantastic amount of slickness there. So I remembered at the last minute, because it's been a while since I've used it. Pre-shave. Plenty of overhang on that with that blade. Plenty. Right, I'm going to wet the face and apply the pre shave. So, how are you guys doing? You okay? I hope the week started well for you. The weather over here in the UK has been great. 
Slightly cooler today, still warm but more humid. I don't do humid. What's it gonna do? Right. <laughs> the pre-shave I'm using today is gonna to be PAA's the cube. I haven't used this for a while, I want to make sure I've got dry hands. So dip it in the water, I've got a wet face, as you've just seen. Apply the cube. Yeah, I hope you've been having some great shows as well, guys. And I hope you had a great weekend with the weather and everything. And I'm so glad that Canada is finally seeing a bit of sun and a bit of haze. Right, I'm going to rub that in. Sorry if this goes on a bit longer because I've got something to cover. Right. Three. <laughs> I've still got slickness on my fingers. I, I cannot grip all of the brush. Take two. Three flakes of the brush. Let's get leather in. Yeah, I'll cover it. I'll cover it now. The competition for the um, Sterling's Black Eyes, the mentholated soap for the summer. If you remember, Franklin didn't email me. I, I think I kept it open for two weeks. So I'm going to be drawing. Well, not drawing. Announcing the next one. That was closer to the mileage. The amount of mileage I drove. Uh, on my holidays in Scotland with me and Mrs. B. Look at this, guys. Right, I want to go with that to start with. Loading the brush up, that might be enough. So, yeah, I'm going to be announcing the next closest to win the soap. And if I don't hear of him by Next Tuesday, next Tuesday shave, I'll be announcing the next closest. Look at this lather, guys. I hope you can see it all right this light because it is really letting me down today. It's getting a little bit dry. Don't be afraid to add plenty of water to this, guys, if you haven't used it before. The tobacco because he likes a drink, so don't be afraid of that. Let the water out. Oh, my hands are so slick off that cube. Tidy up a tad. Just want to get the hot water on to heat the razor up. And if you want to see the condition of this razor, if any of you haven't seen my first unboxing video, go back into my videos and watch my first unboxing. This was black, with um, it, it um, patinaed over time. 113 years old, guys. Look at it. It's a beautiful razor. It's about the same size as the Gillette Tech. The handle, the um, the width or circumference reminds me of the Tech as well. Right, here we go, guys. Gillette Open Comb. 19. <coughs> Nine. Oh, I've forgotten the year it was. 1908. Sorry, guys. I am tired. Gillette Super Thin Platinum First Use. Wow. I love this razor.
no pressure. So somebody, um, when I last used this, I haven't used it for, for a while, I've only used it once. That's how much I fell in love with it. He, I can't remember who it was, so you'll have to forgive me. He uh, left a comment saying, because I thought it, because of the blade gap, look, there's nothing there. Well, that's got to be smooth as anything. Apparently, this is one, one, if not the most aggressive razor that Gillette ever made. Blade feels super sharp. Did I catch myself there? Yeah, I did. Here it comes. I let me Adam's apple go on the swallow. Never mind. Bit of blood never hurt anybody. It is what it is. So light in hand as well. It's it's not a heavy razor. It's a light razor. I think the last blade I used in this was the uh, it was a super thin knot platinum. I think it was stainless steel. And that was smoother. Wow, what a razor. Almost forgot about the overhang there. I was hoping to get head shaving last weekend. I ran out of time. Busy in the garden with Mrs. B. We've started landscaping the front garden. Because it needed to do it, needed to do it for a while. So all day Sunday was busy. I was busy yesterday when I come back off work. So, no headshot. Not that I was going to film it, I didn't know what to do because I only started the head shave last year. And it takes me a bit longer than 25 minutes. I don't want to bore you with it. Unless you want to see a head shave, let me know in the comments. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> you can always fast forward it a bit, couldn't you? You can fast forward this as well. This is going on a bit. So apologies that it's a bit, uh, a bit long this one. Here we go guys, second pass across the grove. Be careful that overhang under the nostrils. How do these side these up? There you go. Yeah, the notes in this soap as well, you can read it without my glasses, because I made some notes. It's bergamot, neroli, lavender, which is scented with tobacco. Uh, oak moss and vanilla and it's beautiful to me because 
like I said, you can love it or hate it. I've loved it from the word go because I like the masculine scent. And it lingers. I love the smell of the bathroom by an hour later. And it's a family based company that makes the tabac and it's a company called is it Mura and Works 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 Mura and Works Yeah family owned business Yeah, I preferred the other blade in it last time. But hey, go off with something to the shaving gods now and then. Now and then, now and again. Don't you, Jim? Yeah, that was plenty in the brush. Yeah, like I said, there's not a massive amount of slickness on this soap. But it creates a great lather and great cushion. Here we go. Against the groove. Hear that? Four days worth of growth here, guys. And it's just mowed it down. Don't forget your shaves of the day. Have I asked you that? Let me know in the comments. And keep your comments coming, guys. It's great. I'm up to date. <laughs> Still answering everyone, which I must admit I'm quite proud of. This is a very sharp blade. That's why it feels, it does feel slightly plucky. Doing a good job though. He's doing a good job. Yeah. And thank you to the new subscribers as well. <coughs> Thank you so much guys, thanks for jumping on board and supporting the channel.
And thanks to you guys as well, all you regulars as well. Thank you so much for sticking with me from the way I go. Your support and encouragement has been amazing. And I thank each and every one of you. Oh, not there, guys. One of the usual places, just under the jawline. Yeah, just there. Because it's concaved. Wow, that's nice. That is nice. Cold water in. I'm on block today, you can see it. <laughs> Got my glasses on. The old talent block on it. I used it for a few shaves. Only slight tingles. I haven't done the neck yet. Oh, it's not bad. Oh, that was right there. Right there, right where it's sensitive, that stung. But it's gone now. It was the initial application of the, uh, application of the album <laughs> block. Wow, that feels good. I felt a good shave. So thanks, Dave. You didn't mention bar me either, but I forgot to ask you. Because <laughs> I would have done the whole shave what you wanted to use. But I've got a good shave coming up. Suggested by one of you guys on Friday. I'm looking forward to that one as well. Right. Aftershave. Dave said pick a aftershave that matches to back as best as it can. I can't think anything other than to back itself. But Joe Van Musk also matches this in my opinion. It's just quite a bit sweeter, but it, it, it manages quite well. This is also in a milk glass bottle. I don't think it's porcelain. I don't think it is. I think it's milk glass. Oh, wow. And Mrs. B loves this stuff as well. I might get lucky tonight. <laughs> no, maybe not. Right. Balm. Balm and gum, an expert for men. Sensitive. It's good stuff. Very cheap. I think I got this from Tesco's. I think it's stuff like £2.69 or something like that. That's all you need. Pizza! Oh yeah. Don't forget the lug holes in the sun as well. It's not just a cold wind, guys. Keep your lug holes. Moisturise in the heat of the sun. Slight weeper. That, I, I, that was a slight weeper. Adam's apple was my fault. I didn't hold my swallow long enough. Right. The winner. The second winner. 
of the Sterling's Black Ice, the competition I have for the miles that I covered, and it is Stan Dunham. Stan, go in the uh, description, go all the way down the bottom, my email address is there, and it's my personal email address as well. So uh, give me your address and I'll send this on to you. I'll keep it open till next Tuesday. If I don't hear anything, there'll be another winner. I've got to get rid of it, and it's brand new, not been used. <laughs> Thanks for joining me, guys. Enjoy the rest of your week, have some great shaves, and thanks again for all your support and sticking by me. You're amazing. Thank you so much. I'll see you on Friday. Until then, have a great week and stay safe. See you guys, bye.